News coming in right now. Tamil Nadu BJP has accused the DMK Vellore incumbent MP and candidate Kathar Anand of speaking in a derogatory manner against women. Kathar Anand was canvassing for votes where he was. In fact, he has were women who were looking shining, he said. Now, since morning, he said, seeing from the stage, I can see most women's faces shining. I don't know why, but all wearing fair and lovely and Pond's powder. So you got 100,000 rupees? He asked Kathir Anand. Now sharing the clip on social media platform X, BJP has questioned how could Kathir Anand say such a thing on a public platform that women will spend any money they get without control? Is this your social justice? Women empowerment questioned Tamil Nadu BJP on X and alleged that it was in the blood of DMK to speak vulgarly about women and questioned if Kani Mori will condemn this act. Rupees 1,000 per month for women homemakers is a prestigious scheme of Chief Minister MK Stalin, which he claims as another success of the Dravidian model to empower women of the state and has even assured to implement it across the country of if Indy Alliance won. My colleague Pramod Madhav is now joining us live for more on this. Uh, Pramod, any sort of reaction that's coming in from the party about the MP's comments, which the Tamil Nadu BJP has said are extremely vulgar and derogatory towards women? Well, follow me. The uh, the action scheme that has been like it is a flagship scheme of DMK and the Chief Minister MK Stalin has is, like very constantly said that this is actually a culmination of the Dravidian model's idea to uh, like uh, ensure there is social justice and women empowerment, and that's the reason Tamil Nadu government is going ahead and giving one thousand rupees to uh, like homemakers and uh, women in particular to make sure that they will have some kind of relief to care, like take care of their family. And what has happened is that here. Kadir Anand, the actual clip that has been shared by uh, uh, BJP on their X platform shows Kadir Anand kind of saying, uh, like, they're claiming that they, they like women are looking shining and they're using pawns and uh, fair and lovely, all because of the 1,000 rupees. So this is what BJP has highlighted, claiming that is this a social justice that DMK is trying to highlight? And it's also questioning that, like, it's a kind of like an allegation placed by BJP where it says that it is not new that DMK is speaking in a vulgar manner of uh, uh, women kind of highlighting what happened uh, last week with uh, Minister Anita Radhakrishnan's uh, XMB derogatory term that he used uh, against uh, uh, BJP Netas on a stage in Tutukuri. Right now, DMK has not reacted to this so far, but we are uh, like, waiting for an explanation on this, uh, uh, follow me. Okay, so as far as uh, the DMK and the BJP war is concerned, it is only intensifying as far as the state of uh, Tamil Nadu is uh, concerned. Uh, how is this likely to go down with the people in terms of a reaction that uh, it will have on the ground? But Kadir Anand is a son, he's a sitting MP of Melor and he's a son of senior DMK leader uh, uh, Dure Murgan and the kind of slang he's over, uh, like, you know, when he's like saying like, Ayarba, Wanda Cha, like he's extending his words, it's as if like, it's kind of like a mockery, but at the same time, DMK says that it was a kind of a way of speech only, but BJP is not taking it very lightly. They claim that this is not the way you speak of women, and this is it only kind of shows that like if you give money to women, they will use it. I mean, they will spend it lavishly. So this is what BJP is trying to highlight over here. Only Kadir Anand can provide an explanation to what he has said, and we hope that he does it soon, uh, Paul Lamy. Okay, just stay on with us, Pramod. Let's listen in to what the DMK member of parliament and the incumbent member of parliament who has uh, in fact uh, thrown his hat in the ring one more time has said about women <laughs>
Okay, so that is in fact the comment which has uh, created quite a furor in uh, Tamil Nadu ahead of uh, the Lok Sabha elections. Uh, um, Pramod continues to be live with us. He's bringing us all the reactions from the ground, including from, of course, the BGP and the DMK. The fight between the DMK and the BGP only getting more fierce with each uh, passing day. It almost appears now that the contest is between these two parties, Pramod. Well, uh... The thing is that, like, even yesterday, the chief minister, while speaking uh, in Virudhunagar, he was uh, uh, targeting the prime minister primarily, and then it was uh, EPS. And uh, uh, what, he, like, uh, the chief minister had to say about uh, the kind of, like, tussle that's happening between BJP and DMK is that earlier, when the prime minister came to Chennai, he, I mean, in Tamil Nadu, he was uh, uh, quoting a term called Modi car guarantee. This is what uh, the chief minister has replied yesterday, claiming that there is neither no guarantee nor warranty to the prime minister. And this is how the chief minister actually, uh, Chief Minister MK Stalin, gave a retaliation to the Prime Minister. So definitely, uh, this time, BJP is like uh, uh, trying real uh, hard to make ways. And when we spoke to Dayanidhi Maran yesterday, also we put forward the question that what does he think about the BJP's, uh, like the Prime Minister's uh, continuous visits and BJP's campaign. He actually like uh, claims that like no matter what happens, BJP cannot make inroads uh, into uh, uh, Tamil Nadu. And this is what DMK also believes, follow me. Okay. Pramod Madhav there tracking all of those uh, developments in the state of Tamil Nadu which is to go to polls in the first phase of uh, the Lok Sabha elections on April 19th.